Welcome, distinguished viewers, to a riveting voyage into the annals of history. Fasten your seatbelts and hold tight as we rewind time back to a remarkable epoch over two millennia ago. We land in the thriving heart of ancient India, precisely in 268 BC, a critical juncture of time that witnesses the rise of a ruler, whose profound legacy echoes around the world even today. Meet Ashoka Maurya, universally celebrated as Ashoka the Great. He ascends the throne of an empire sprawling from the craggy terrains of present-day Afghanistan to the lush landscapes of Bangladesh. But, like his grandsire, the formidable Chandragupta Maurya Euro, the founder of the Maurya dynasty Euro, Ashoka yearned for more. To quench his thirst for power and territorial dominion, Ashoka led a merciless campaign against the state of Kalinga, modern-day Odisha. Allow me to paint a picture for you. Visualize a battlefield drenched in scarlet. And amidst the tumult and turmoil, Ashoka stands triumphant. But, contrary to expectations, the victorious Ashoka isn't jubilant. He is shell-shocked. This gruesome war at Kalinga thus marks a cataclysmic turning point for Ashoka Euro. It leads him down a path of remorse that alters the course of history. Being a chip off the old block, Ashoka stepped into the shoes of a ruler with a deep-set desire to enlarge the dominion his predecessors established. Ashoka's journey to the throne was a chessboard of political maneuvers and military conquests. His initial reign bore the hallmark of a series of victorious military expeditions, starting from pacifying Ujjain to quelling a rebellion in Taxila. Once his power base was robust, his eyes turned to Kalinga, the lone sovereign kingdom in northern India. The infamous Kalinga War ensued, searing itself into history due to its unmatched brutality. Unbeknownst to Ashoka, this war wasn't merely a quest for territorial acquisition. The magnitude of the carnage suffocates Ashoka's exultation of victory, replacing it with overwhelming guilt and sorrow. The rivers of blood and the mountains of corpses were the price paid for his ambitions, a realization that haunts Ashoka. This gruesome spectacle radically changed Ashoka. From his remorse and guilt, a desire for change was born. The once feared warrior became a herald of peace, his change of heart catalyzing his adoption of Buddhism. The man once obsessed with territorial conquest now yearned to win hearts and minds with the doctrines of peace, harmony, and compassion. Ashoka henceforth devoted his life to promulgating Dharma, a central Buddhist tenet representing cosmic law and moral order. He ordered the carving of edicts into rocks and pillars throughout his kingdom, espousing moral and ethical behavior. Under his reign, thousands of stupas and monasteries were built across India, with the Sanchi stupa being the most renowned. Ashoka sent Buddhist missionaries to distant lands, from Sri Lanka to Syria, from Nepal to Egypt. His reign marked a golden age of arts, culture, and education. Ashoka's conversion to Buddhism and his zealous propagation of its tenets revolutionized India's religious fabric. Furthermore, his policy of religious tolerance fostered a pluralistic society, where diverse religious practices coexisted harmoniously. His enlightened reign, however, was not enough to stave off the decline of the Maurya Empire after his death. His principles of governance have shaped countless rulers and dynasties, both within India and worldwide. His edicts and principles are still revered by millions globally, cementing his status as a truly universal figure. In the grand tapestry of history, Ashoka the Great's life stands out as a compelling narrative of transformation and redemption. It underscores the potential for change, even in the most obdurate hearts. His life serves as a testament to the power of remorse, introspection, and transformation, reminding us that the darkest storms can often birth the most splendid rainbows. His embrace of Buddhism not only revolutionized him but also profoundly influenced the religious demographics of the Indian subcontinent.